Metal Gear Solid Online impressions. Hold up. Yeah. Oh man, oh man. Where do I start with Metal Gear Solid Online? Jeez Louise, guys. I thought this was going to be a solid online game. But were we wrong? Were we wrong? Uh, here's some Cloak and Dagger gameplay. It's me. I do okay. You know, it's almost impossible to get any good footage from this game. It's just almost impossible to play. But anyways, here's the best I could do. Hope you're entertained. Please like and subscribe if you like this kind of content. And just here I go on my tangent, my review on this, man. I was very disappointed. I mean, the way it was, you know, previewed and all the trailers for it and the hype for it. It looked awesome. It almost looked like a GTA Online, you know, with the customization. Make your own character, leveling them up. You know, just all the Metal Gear Solid, you know, mechanics. Being able to lay and crawl and hang and climb up pipes and sneak behind them and use the cqc or whatever the close combat you know oh my gosh it just seems like it should have been so good like right here like it looks like oh my gosh this game looks good look at me look at this guy this looks sweet boom but it's just 99 percent of the time it just doesn't work and i was even lucky to get this game play and the customization is so limited and it's, it seems like the game is like cool and in depth. Like, look at, I can hold LB and just like the, you know, the single player uh, experience, you can interrogate them, but now it shows them all over the map. So it's got like great ideas. It's got good ideas. It just, I don't know if it's lag or just some imbalancing issues right now. It just does not work. Like if you play any other game mode, if you play, what is it, the bounty? That's, that is so laggy. It is so bad. Like, you'll be shooting sometimes, and like five seconds later, the dude hits the ground, and it's like, it's, uh, half the time I stop shooting. And then I, that I, 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 sometimes, most of the time I get the kill, but then one time I'm like, oh wait, he's not dead? You know, I have to notice 30 seconds later, but freaking, oh, he's not dead. Or how about when you try to sneak up behind, get this, you try to sneak up behind someone, use the CQC, all this like cool stealthy stuff and it's so laggy and and, and all the st little stupid things you don't mind in single player because there's some dumb ai and you can like accidentally kick them and you know still get the kill without anyone knowing like the, you can't have that online you know everything's going to be taken advantage and you're sitting there trying to like cqc you see some dude you know you run up to him and you know first of all it's all who hits the button first so it's all connection there but then now you got some stupid stuff like if you hit it too early you're just like you're like doing this little girl kick you're like ah 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 you know you're not doing anything and it's just so annoying to watch you're you're trying to do these things and your guy's just doing some random stuff and it one it's laggy two it's it feels clunky it reminds me of an old game called splinter cell chaos theory and where the mechanics like it moves way better like look at my guy looks like he's really running you can do this dive thing that kind of looks silly because you can get up and super dive all the, like four or five times but <laughs> okay let's go let's talk about classes okay there's three of them the sniper which i'm trying to be right now the infiltrator which everyone probably should be and is the only pretty good class now and then uh, uh, heavy or whatever it's called, where you can have big guns and a shield and stuff. And snipers obviously have sniper and have all these like little perks to be a, a sniper rifle. But you know, I'm still sometimes I use that sniper rifle and it's still like all over the place, man. I don't know what the heck. And then um, so basically, the infiltrator is the only good class because you can turn invisible. Even in cloak and dagger, when one team's invisible, you can still turn invisible on the other team. And that helps because you can just run up on people and just throw them on the ground. And everything makes you fall asleep in this game, which is so annoying because it'll be like, oh, a close battle. And then I got to, it, it like pretends you can get back up with that Y crab with, with some Gears of War like tap A, but it's Y and shake. That's, I don't think it's doing anything. It takes you like 30 seconds to get off the ground and everything makes you fall asleep. I could just get like whacked in the face with a flash, a flash grenade. And I'm like, I need to, I need to take a nap. I need to take a nap and it's just it's annoying or sometimes you'll fall off stuff or 
you know, just going out not in cover and just ugh. I I did not enjoy this game one bit. I don't think it works at all. I feel like there's some imbalancing with like just the one team. Like on this team here, I just it's almost boring on the side because it's just so easy to gun everyone down. I mean, you almost need it. A really dumb uh, defensive team, and then like a couple of your buddies on offense, or just like a quick run. You know, it's I don't see any skill involved, not yet. Especially with that lag, man. That lag is terrible. I really want to. We got yeah. I, the emphasis on the lag. The lag is killing the game, and you know, the the parts of the games that you know, I guess what is developers and that uh, Asian culture and stuff with the, you know the plushies and all that it's so cheesy and I guess they with the box you know that's what Metal Gear Solid is but man like what am I going to do with the box does anyone have the box like no one uses the box it's so dumb and maybe maybe I don't know something yet like the box gives you like four more times you can get shot but it's just so lame. I just don't like it. I don't like anything about this. I'm so disappointed with it. I thought it was going to be a good game. I thought it was going to be like a SOCOM or something like that. You know, just very tactical and fun. I'd say pass this one, boys. This is not something you want to play. This is not something worth your money. Uh, unless there's a patch coming out or whatever, which I doubt it. I doubt it is because they like I don't know just um, I don't know I don't want to go into it anymore I'll just be saying the same things over and over because a lot of it's just like a lot of a couple issues you know what I mean like I guess there's a lot of problems but it stems from just a couple things and one is lag I think the CQC throwing them and the falling asleep all the time just totally break the game and the one like like why don't you have walkers oh my gosh the walkers are so if you play like the other game modes the walkers are just so op and then and i don't even really do that bad i'm not complaining because like don't do bad but it's just not fun because i know i could get in the walker and just wreck or i could try to you know play without it but i know i'm gonna have to deal with something like that later when the other team because they're gonna be using that <clears throat> and they're just so annoying to deal with like it's not fun and i think that's the key word here it's just it's not fun even when you win i'm just not having fun and i guess if i were to rate the online experience with this game i will give it a 7.5 that's still pretty solid because maybe someone else out there would have fun and maybe you know you've never played something like this before so you know, because there's someone else has done it better. Splinter Cell did it better, and Cloak and Dagger is the best game mode. All right, guys, like and subscribe. Thanks for tuning in. Take it easy, guys.